Hey guys, Matt here. A few days ago, I made a review on MSISoft's anti-malware, and uh, today I want to go ahead and take a look at MSISoft's emergency kit. This is a free uh, application. They're nice enough to give you uh, something that will just run off a USB stick. It's a single download. You extract it to your USB stick, and you can go ahead and scan um, an infected computer with it. And it's free, so... Pretty awesome. So it's, it's an on-demand scanner. It's not a real-time scanner. It's not going to sit there and run, you know, in the background and protect you. This is strictly for removal. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, we will go ahead and download it. And it is 153 megabytes. Uh, the great thing about this, you just download it once, stick it on your USB stick, and you're done. Um, you can go ahead and add this to your toolkit. This is something that I would definitely add to my USB toolkit. Um, you know, it's free. It's just another opinion on what's on the computer, you know, malware-wise. So let's just see how effective it is. I cleaned this up the other day. Not cleaned this up, but I just downloaded this. Let's see how effective it is uh, at cleaning this uh, computer that we, we we saw the other day it was really infected with a lot of adware and we're gonna go ahead and run the kit on this let's give them another shot now I added a few pieces of malware on here today just to kind of keep it current let's go ahead and go full screen so this isn't so confusing All right, so um, we'll go ahead and uh oh, wait for the program. We'll run this program as an administrator. It'll say, okay, where do you want to extract um, your EEK to? And I would extract this to your USB stick. It should already be on your stick, uh, so just extract it there. But for now, I'm not using a stick. I'm just using a virtual machine, so we'll extract it to the C drive of this virtual machine. So uh, if you watched the previous video, you know what the deal is on this computer. You, you know how much adware is on here. Um, it's basically... You cannot use um, the internet whatsoever. It's just really, really bad. It's just tons and tons of pop-ups. So I'm hoping this emergency um, toolkit will allow us to uh, get rid of some of that. All right, let's go into the EEK. I thought that popped up automatically. I guess it didn't this time. So they have a command line scanner, and they have a GUI. Now the command line scanner would be great if you want to batch remove a bunch of different programs and just chain them all up together. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and start the regular one. So MSISoft Emergency Kit. Uh, it's highly recommended that we do an update. Yes, we will. <laughs> I, the one thing I do like about the MSI stuff is the updates come down so fast. And that's really handy for someone like me. So, um, so while this is running, I'm probably going to pause it. Okay, well, it is done updating, and we'll just hit the back button. Uh, we're going to go to scan, but let's go ahead and click settings, see if there's anything to do. We'll join the MSI soft anti-malware network, which I have no idea. Is this like a cloud network where they can scan more stuff, or they're just collecting stats on me? So... No idea. Uh, 
uh, quarantine settings. Eh, really not much there. I mean, that's it. So do you want, yeah, we want to go ahead and enable pups because that's the whole issue on this machine. Do you also want to detect potentially unwanted programs? Yes. Those things are bad. Uh, performance settings, we'll use all my processors, scan, I'm going to go ahead and do high because I want this thing to hurry up. And let's just go ahead and just get through this right away, that, uh, just do everything, so we'll just do a full scan, and uh, I'm sure that'll take a while, uh, we'll just pause while that's going. Alright guys, well, uh, I finished scanning, it did take a little while, but, you know, that was an entire computer, so understandable let's go ahead and say uh, close and it found 55 items which I think was more than the last time um, a few days ago when I did a scan so we will go ahead and just to be on the safe side quarantine selected I never delete anything unless I absolutely have to uh, it cause a lot of a lot of problems uh, if you delete something um, that was legit So I'm hoping it gets rid of everything and doesn't leave me with this list. Okay, it says the following items cannot be removed. The removal experts on MSI soft form will help you. Yeah, nobody's going to really do it. Well, I mean, if you're an administrator like me, you would go in there and, and figure that out. But some detections cannot be removed. A reboot is required. Okay. So it's going to go ahead and reboot, and we'll see what happens here. Okay, it did go to some kind of preboot thing where it's deleting stuff. We've seen this before. It's replacing it with. Oh, let's see. Destination directory. Okay, I thought it was replacing it with a dummy file. Uh, it says boot continues in 10 seconds, but it, I think that was like 20 seconds ago. I don't hear any like um, hard drive activity or anything. Okay, sweet. So right now we just have a black screen. Just waiting to hear if uh, waiting here, waiting to see if uh, something pops up. Okay, looks like it is. <clears throat> Welcome back, Bob. Ready. Ooh, that's a little loud. Um, so it's l some adware is looking for some component uh, that got removed by the MSI soft. The emergency uh, kit. So that was a full scan. Let's just for the hell of it. Pop open the browser and see if the browser is any better. And we will do a Google search for some shoes. Yeah, and let's see if we're getting a tremendous amount of pop-ups still and redirections, things like that. I may have to type that in again. All right, shoes. Come on now. Oh, whatever. Not the, well, yeah, there's still a bunch of ads here from Square Trace ads, some kind of pup that I guess they don't uh, recognize yet. If we go to shoes, okay, we are on shoes.com, and yeah, we're still getting a lot of um, 
you know, same amount of crazy, whew, wow, yeah, same amount of crazy uh, adware pop-ups. So um, I, I would still include this in my on my USB uh, toolkit. It's it, it you know it found 55 items. I'm I'm not sure it removed most of them. You know it's just another thing you could just add on. There's another thing you can scan with. But um, yeah, I would really um, suggest to MSI to really focus on uh, their pup detection. Um, I don't know how you would do that. I have no clue because um, there's so many different ones every day uh, and there's a lot of them so I would say I don't know get a few guys in there focus on the pup detection get rid of this crap things like this should not even still be here so all right I'm gonna upload this now I will talk to you guys later um, I think the only videos I have for today are gonna be some gaming videos so I'm gonna get started on those now talk to you later